I'm Cassandra, and this is my story. It was a typical Friday night with my friends, and we were heading out to the movies. Then in a split moment, everything changed. I am Sergeant Bridget Way from the City of Lake Geneva Police Department. I was one of the first officers on scene for this accident. I am Brian Derrick. I'm a lieutenant uh, with the Lake Geneva Fire Department and the role in the accident that you're talking about, I was officer in squad one, which is our first in unit for all car accidents. I'm Mark Moeller Gunderson. I'm a captain on the Lake Geneva Fire Department and I was the officer on engine two. At approximately 6.56 p.m., Dispatcher Marsha Robbins received a phone call of a vehicle crash on North Edwards Boulevard at Church Springs Road. The caller advised a vehicle had struck a bridge and believed there were injuries. Officer Brandy Nelson, Officer Seth Keller, and I, Sergeant Way, were dispatched to the scene. I was heading down the road by Target on the way to Showboat to see the premiere of Paranormal Activity 3. I was with four other friends in the car. I was seated in the back on a child car seat base. The driver did not want to remove it because of that I was unable to use the seatbelt. She was going 60 miles down a hill and she was like swerving and we hit the curb on our side and bounced. You know this accident really sticks out in my mind as probably one of the worst accidents in the 13 years that I've been on the department that we've responded to. We got there, pulled up on scene, saw the car hanging there on the bridge abutment Hers was horrific. I mean, to be honest, it was it was horrific. And when you pull up and you don't know if anybody's in the vehicle, and you realize one of your firefighters is holding their hand. I was uh, assigned to the the woman who was in the car, so I reached in through the back window of the passenger side door uh, to to provide care for her. But I knew there was some serious trauma. And I also knew at some point um, that she was becoming less responsive. So my great fear was that we were going to lose her before we could even get her out of the car. And that's not a good feeling. It's a kind of a helpless feeling. Even though we were using all the skill and experience and equipment and personnel that we had, there was a chance that this was not going to work out well. So I was very thankful that we sort of had this alignment of our crews, the tow truck, flight for life, everything seemed to work at the end to get her out, to get her the care that she needed, to get her to a good hospital, and to see her back walking again. I mean, to me, that's a miracle. She was the only person in the vehicle that did not have a seatbelt on. And she was injured extensively. If she had her seatbelt on, we wouldn't have, uh, when she wouldn't have been so injured. We need to uh, remember to put our seatbelt on, even if you're going to go a mile down the road. It saves lives, and it's proven to save lives, and also um, less injury if you are involved in a vehicle accident. From my accident, I want people to learn to wear their seatbelt, follow the speed limit, and don't act stupid when driving.